everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you follow me over on Instagram, you already know that I had launched my very own shop and it's on my website. It's the APB shop and we are looking at it right now. So what I want to do today is kind of show you guys a walkthrough and some of my favorite features of these spreadsheet budget templates. For those of you who are still deciding or on a fence about it, I do have descriptions of them here but I know there's only so much you can tell from a photo. So I'm going to click on one over here to kind of show you. So this one is the APB monthly budget system and it has all of the spreadsheets that it comes with and and then there is a product description down here for you guys to kind of read about. But what I'm going to go through today is I'm going to go through each one and what the layouts look like and some of my favorite features on each of these. So these are the products that I have so far. I do plan to add more. But yeah, this is what I have so far. The APB monthly budget system, the bi-weekly budget system, weekly budget system. And if you see the word system in here, it has these right here in addition to the budget. So the debt tracker, net worth tracker, net worth tracker, and a savings tracker. But if you just want a simple budget, monthly budget system or a monthly budget and expense tracker, it's gonna be these right here. So it's all broken down by monthly, by weekly, and weekly. And I did that because I know some of us get paid on different schedules, some of us get paid monthly, bi-weekly, and weekly so I wanted to make sure I kind of cater to those so yeah that's what I have and I also have a yearly budget overview for those of you who just want a year at a glance and I have that monthly bi-weekly and a weekly breakdown as well and we will take a closer look at all of these so you guys can see all the different layouts so let's go ahead and take a look at these three first the APB budget systems each of these no matter which one you get, we'll have an instructions and tips tab and it is catered to whichever spreadsheet that you have. The only things that stay the same as far as instructions goes is this top section here, but it starts to look a little differently depending on which one that you decide to get. And each of these also come with a instructions and tips video. So if you need help kind of setting up or need help customizing, that's all in there as well. So yeah, anyways, so let's go ahead. We're in the monthly budget system. So what each of the systems have is going to be a budget overview. And this is basically what I like to call a budget cheat sheet because it has an area for your monthly bills, variable day-to-day -day spending, and then your seasonal annual bills over here. And what I do like about this is that you get a general idea of what your potential savings could look like. So any extra leftover money after all of your bills and expenses are paid for. And then on this, side over here is a budget category breakdown. It's an area for you to organize all of your budget categories. And then here on the left side is a budget category list view where you're going to list all of your budget categories, more specifically your variable spending categories. And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit when we get into the monthly budget. And then next up in the spreadsheet is a debt tracker. So a debt overview um, where you list all of your debts and then a monthly debt balance and payment tracker and then a net worth tracker broken down by months and then one of my favorite trackers is a savings tracker we track all of our sinking funds and our retirement contributions college contributions here and it's all broken down by month over here and there is a total of 10 savings categories that you can add on here if you do need to add more you can totally add more i have a tutorial included as well to show you guys how to set that up to make sure the formulas don't get messed up so the calculations don't get messed up step as well. So it has category, savings goal, your monthly contribution, a save by date, and then a starting balance. The great thing about this is that it calculates your current balance as you update during the month so that you're always aware of what's inside of your savings. So let's go ahead and take a look at the monthly budget. So this is the monthly setup. So it has income, fixed regular expenses, your variable day-to-day -day expenses, savings, extra debt payments, and then a spending recap over here. A pie chart will pop up over here once you start filling this out, and it'll be based on your actual numbers over here, an area for your notes, goals, and reminders, like a financial to-do list, ending balances here for your checking account and cash. This is helpful so that you know exactly how much you have to carry over to the next budget. 
just a nice little area to have that. And then my favorite part of this is the planning section because as you guys are budgeting for the month or planning ahead, you can take a look at this area over here, a difference and leftover amount because let's say for example, let's just plug in something on here. So budget starting balance, let's say is $100. Maybe your paycheck is at $2,000. You'll see over here that this is how much you have left to budget for. So let's say bill, let's just put rent, 13, oops, $13.95. It'll show up on here that this is how much is left over to budget for. So if this is negative, then you need to go back and check to see where you can cut. If you still have money left over, then I suggest you throw it into any one of your savings goals whether that's to pay off debt, invest, or save money in your sinking funds. So my next favorite thing on here that I added is this section right here where you can add your budget categories. Now this ties in with your expense tracker and whatever you put here, so let's say here for expenses, you know what, let's go ahead and put a sample on here. I wasn't gonna do that, but I just wanna show you how it works. So food, transportation, household, these are some of our variable spending categories. So let me go back to January and let's say here for food, it'll pop up a dollar amount here. A lot of these cells are protected so that if you accidentally delete something, it'll pop up saying this right here, like you're trying to edit something accidentally, edit anyways. So just hit cancel so you don't accidentally delete the formulas because they're super important. Let's say, so you don't actually update here. It's whatever you put in your expense tracker. Let's say food, transportation, household, food, Sam's Club. I just went to Sam's Club today. Gas, Florida Chevron, household, let's say Target. So let's say for food, we spent $150. Transportation was 50. Household, we spent 30. So these amounts here is going to update here for you in your variable day to day spending. And now I only did it for this one because I find that our variable day to day spending is what pretty much kills our budget a lot of the times. So I wanted to make sure there was a way for it to update as we track our expenses. So hopefully that's something that you're going to love as much as I do because I just have to plug in all of our expenses on here and then all of our variable categories. Here will automatically update so let's go ahead and put another food category here so you guys can see so right now we have it at 150 and then let's say we spent another $50 it's going to go ahead and update that here so I'm really loving this feature all of the months and the expense trackers are all on here and then let's go ahead and take a look at the expense tracker really quick like how it's kind of broken down so there's a tracking period on here where you write down the dates what your checking account starting balance is your incoming income is going to go up here and your total running balance will show up on here. Your expenses for your checking account and then down here at the bottom is going to be the cash part. So an incoming cash flow over here, what your starting cash balance is here and then all of your cash expenses here. And I tried to color code it so that when you're putting your expenses on here, you kind of know blue is for checking account and purple is for cash. Moving on to the bi-weekly, it has pretty much all the same things as the monthly one, the budget overview, the net worth tracker, the debt tracker, savings tracker. It's just that the budget, the monthly budget looks different because it's bi-weekly. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that this is what I use is the bi-weekly paycheck budget. This works out great for those of you who also get paid twice on set dates. I know that used to be the case for me. I used to get paid on the 10th and 25th of the month, but my husband right now gets paid every other Friday. So bi-weekly. So same thing here as the monthly income, fixed and regular expenses, variable day-to-day -day expenses, savings, extra debt payments, a monthly spending recap, and then the planning section. I love this section. And then an area for your notes, goals, and reminders, your checking account balance at the end, and cash, and then the total amount that you have left over. And then with the expense tracker, it's just the same as the monthly one, just broken down into two. It has a tracking period for paycheck number one, paycheck number two, and then same layout, income here at the top, followed by expenses, and then the cash here at the bottom. And these also have all of the months on here, but something extra that I included is a three paycheck budget month copy, because if you're paid bi-weekly, more than likely you'll get paid three times in a month. So I included that on here. There is a tutorial on how to set up the formulas for this. If you guys want to make sure that your variable categories update correctly, 
So just so you guys know, that's included in the tips and instructions video. And then for the APB weekly system, again, it has the budget overview, the debt tracker, the net worth tracker, the savings tracker, and then for the monthly layout, it has four paycheck budgets. This one is broken down by four paycheck budgets. So one, two, three, and then four over here. There's also the planned and actual section over here, the month totals, a spending recap, and then a notes, goals, and reminders for each of the paycheck budgets. And then for the expense tracker, same thing as the bi-weekly, except it has four expense trackers for each paycheck budget. So your paycheck numbers go up here along with the tracking period. So there's four of those. This one also has a tutorial for how to set up a fifth paycheck budget because if you're paid weekly, most likely you'll probably be getting paid a fifth paycheck. So I made sure to include one of these in there. Hopefully that helps you out for those of you who get paid weekly, or if you wanna use one of the budgets for something more specific, it doesn't have to be a paycheck. Maybe you're trying to budget out maybe a birthday party or like Christmas or something on one of them. So yeah, I've seen other people do that. So I think that's kind of a cool idea. So those are the APB budget systems. As for the monthly budget and expense tracker, the bi-weekly budget and expense tracker, and the weekly budget and expense tracker, these all have the budget overview, the monthly budget, and the expense trackers. What it does not have is the net worth tracker, the debt tracker, or the savings tracker. So if you just want something to budget and you don't really want all of those trackers, this is gonna be for you. And then with each one as well, I've included the instructions on how to set up a fifth paycheck budget or a third paycheck budget. So again, if you don't care much for all of the other trackers, the debt trackers, net worth tracker, and the savings tracker, then this one is gonna be for you. And then the last three, the yearly budget overview, monthly breakdown, bi-weekly breakdown, and weekly breakdown. This is what the yearly budget overview, monthly breakdown looks like. It's broken down by monthly paychecks if you guys get paid just monthly. And up here at the top is your starting balance your income, savings, fixed regular bills, variable spending, seasonal expenses, extra debt payments, and then it'll give you a savings potential here at the bottom. And all of these numbers here will update as you fill out your income here at the bottom, your expenses, your variable spending, your savings, extra debt payments and seasonal expenses, which is pretty much your annual bills or any of the holidays and events that come irregularly or not too often. Once you update all the expenses down here, it'll auto populate up here. So this is something that you won't touch other than the starting balance for each month. So this is a nice way to kind of have a budget overview for the year. So as you close out your budget in the regular monthly budget, you'll go ahead and update it on here so that as the months go by, you can kind of take a look and see how much you're spe you've spent along the way. Or you can use it like how I do as well, is that I use this to plan out my year as well as update our expenses as well. I do have a video on this. I'll link it up here if you guys wanna see it or see how I used it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the, this one's the weekly breakdown. So this one is broken down by paychecks. So again, you guys can use this for planning purposes and then update it as you close out your budget. And then for the months that have a fifth paycheck budget month, you can go ahead and add another column. And then let's take a look at the bi-weekly. This is the one that I use and that's what I have a video on and it's broken down by bi-weekly paycheck budgets. And again, for the third paycheck budget month, you'll, you can go ahead and add an extra column. And I do have that tutorial in that instructions and tips video that comes along with whichever spreadsheet template you guys decide to get. Anyway, so that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions about what you saw here today, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below so I can make sure to answer those. And one final note I forgot to mention is that these are all Google Sheets spreadsheets. So you do need a free Google or Gmail account to be able to access these. So just a heads up for those of you who want to buy one of these. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much as always for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Have a good one guys.